Hello, everyone. Hi there. This is going to be <laughs> awkward and different. Yeah, we're um, using StreamYard. And pre-recording, so I'd say good evening, but it's not going to be <laughs> good evening. Yeah, it is. It's almost 10 o'clock here tonight when we're recording this. Got late. Yes, it did. And we both have to work early tomorrow morning. So mm -hmm. we're going to try and zoom through this as fast as we can. We uh, we'll be putting this um, live on our channel in our time slot on Saturday. But if all goes as planned, we should be at the lake during that time. We hope to be, and hopefully everything is okay. We've uh, we went there last weekend just to drop off the camper, turn the water on, and it got really cold. It's minus two degrees celsius today yeah tonight. and i only have four and again minus two tonight and minus ones for lows so we we hope we go there and it's not water on the floor or no frozen something. pipes nasty surprises i mean it's if it can it doesn't freeze solid it should be okay but yeah and it it's not that it dipped low for a little, many hours at a time yeah. so it but should be it's okay cold inside right now it yeah. is and the wind doesn't help anything no. either it actually snowed a little bit today. It did. We're in dire, desperate need of precipitation, but we didn't think it would be coming in snow. No. Current. In fact, we're we're in dire need of precipitation um, so badly that there's a fire ban. So we can't even have... And there's a big fire not far from our campsite that yeah. actually has snow or uh, smoke uh, alert on the weather system. Oh, not so, cool. No, I... So far, no homes lost, so that's a good thing. Yeah. But we'll, I don't know, we'll just, we'll just get away. Take it as it comes. If we have to come home, we'll come home. Yeah. But the, yeah, right now it's two degrees, uh, minus one tonight. Maybe we want to go tomorrow night, just make sure it's all okay. They're saying high of four again and low of minus two. Well, we'll see when we get home from work and how uh, energetic we feel. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, so it's, uh, it's going to be Canadian long weekend it's may long this weekend for the mm -hmm. canadians um and speaking of canadians we ship from saskatchewan canada and our prices are in canadian dollars so if we are selling something for five dollars it is in canadian dollars mm -hmm. which is a little bit of a savings for the americans because our dollar is not as strong as yours and i ship with canada post and another thing that we started this past week is we're not invoicing and shipping every week. We're going to be doing that at the end of a two week segment. So that two week segment started on Monday when I did our $2 clearance sale. So this is the second sale in this two week segment, which is our Saturday, um, our regular Saturday slot. And next Saturday slot will be the end of that two weeks. So if you shop with us during any of those sales, I will be um, putting them into the box and shipping those things all together. So it'll save you shipping, there you go. which means um, we won't be doing the free shipping draw, which you've been come to know with us. Uh, it saves our... you money, but it saves everybody money. Yes. Um, it's not just, it's great to get that one free shipping. It's a nice treat, but this will save everybody um, that would like to purchase at another sale. It saves you, it just saves everybody, not, yes. not just one person. So, Because I, I mentioned last, at, during the last sale, that I was finding so often I would be able to get way more into the box for the same amount of shipping. Mm -hmm. So if I extended it over a two week period, then you could take advantage of that. And uh, I wouldn't feel so guilty for sending out those invoices with the, with the harsh shipping. Yeah. Um, but, uh, okay, so we will get into this. Yeah. Um, be the first to comment with the item number in the chat. And yeah, you- Yeah, we're not seeing a, a chat. Yeah, happening. it's, we're gonna see how this works out here, yeah. but. Uh, be the first to comment and I will sift through the comments. Um, you know, when you're on YouTube, you can do the newest comments first. 
So that's how I will filter through the um, the comments. And I will also be checking my spam folder as well in the YouTube comments, just in case some, some went there for some reason. Uh, and my email to get hold of me is scrolling across the screen. And if I can figure it out, I will put it in the description of uh, the video before it goes live. So happy shopping, everybody. And I hope you enjoyed what we pulled today. Ready? Yeah. Okay. First one is the amber thin glass. This one. Vase. Yes. This is a beautiful vase. Made in Poland. It still has its sticker. Oh, boy. Here we go with StreamYard. Oh, it's backwards. Yeah, it's backwards. This is, uh, bear with us, please. <laughs> so made in Poland sticker there. And it, it's a very thin, delicate glass. Very it's a pedestal vase. Elegant. It is. And it's etched. can kind of see the etching along the top there. Um, is that working? Yep. Okay. A little bit of a, a bulbous point to, or a bulbous part at the bottom. And it is probably about 11 inches. Ten. It's 10 inches. And this one is $5 and it is number 33. Okay, on to the next piece. Pink plastic thermometer. That was hanging in the house. Yes, it was. Yeah, and actually, right up until the last day, right? Yes, yeah. this was one of the last things we took off of the of the walls. This and actually, Auntie Christy, if you're watching, this is the little thermometer that you commented on during one of our uh, it's not see -through. I just it is see-through. Oh. <laughs> Does it work, honey? Well, yep, it shows room temperature 22 degrees. Well, so it still works. It's a very pale pink, and it was advertising for the local credit union, the local bank in the town that uh, the estate home was in. It's probably 1970s. Yeah, it's flat backed. And back when they made cool advertising pieces, hey, I would love to get this from the bank today. <laughs> so this little thermometer, yeah. I'll measure it. The bank doesn't give a whole lot today. No. <laughs> In interest either. It I remember is, my grandpa mentioning, I think 10% when I was a little boy. It is um, almost nine inches. So this is, I think it's $3. It is. And it is number 32. Next is a flat sheet and pillowcase. Is that, which pair is that? Oh, that's the one right at the bottom. The yeah. bottom? Oh, this one, okay. Oh, sorry, that isn't the bottom. <laughs> this flat sheet and pillowcase. Oh, that. Yes. All right. Okay, so matching flat <laughs> sheet and pillowcase. Feels so dumb, doesn't it? It does. It's very backwards. Um, I um, can't remember. Oh yeah, there is a tag here, but it is. Um, it's washed off. Yeah, it is. Uh, it is store bought. It's not handmade, but it's got that brown um, piping along the edge of the sheet and along the one pillowcase. So a twin flat sheet and, and it's pillowcase. a twin. Yep. Yes, this set is. It's in great condition too, by the way is five dollars and it's number 31. Can we set down this one? Sure. It's um it's not white it's like a, a creamy almost yellowy kind of um, the brown yeah stripe on it. Green dish with yellow bird on base. Right there. It's just a soap dish. Oh, maybe that's what it is. I didn't know what to call it in the description, but it is really, really pretty. 
uh, Japan, I believe. It is Japan. I'm not familiar with the sticker on there. But uh, you can see that it does still have its original sticker and it is in great condition. The little birdie doesn't have any chips. And I don't think I felt anything on the top either. Kind of that gold wash and, or that uh, green wash with the gold accents. The bird is yellow. Really pretty. Yeah, it might be a soap dish. I think so. This is $6 and it is number 30. As you swipe it off the screen. Yeah. Six dollars number thirty. <laughs> Backwards. Screen one. Look at his little birdie butt. <laughs> Did you just yesh? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> yes. They don't know what I'm talking about. No. It's Sigh. Sigh. That's what uh yeah, we're that's low German. For, for sigh. sigh. Yeah. Um, Girl oh. pick calendar thermometers. Another one hanging. Was it on the same cover? Yes, it was. And then when we finally did take it off, we noticed that there was literally a calendar up, folded up behind here. Unused. Isn't that so cool? It's from, oh, what year was it? 1968. That pink one might even be 60s, that key. It, it probably is. This is from the furniture store that would have been in the town. And just another really beautiful advertising piece. Look at the cute little girl holding her Bible. From the Watson Furniture Center. It's got a thermometer along the side and it's in a white plastic frame. And of course that calendar that uh, tucks up into there. This is $5, number 45. All right. Next up is a small Mexican vase vase to make tomato. <laughs> That's to right. Table to top. Um, yeah, it is signed Mexico. And was there an artist signature on there? Mm, could be. Maybe. I wish the stores wouldn't write their prices. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah. I've seen this line in other. Yeah. Mexican pottery. I'm not sure what it some, symbolizes. Some artists, I think, just do that. Um. Must be their like trademark or something. It could be. This measures three and a quarter. Yes, three and a quarter inches tall. Um, there's no flaws on this little vase, just a really nice little piece. It's four dollars, number 23. Feels odd not walking oh, in the chat. Mix is the large. Oh, is it? Yeah, okay. Well, there you go. Okay, so same uh, symbols on the back. Yeah, we um, we tried selling this at um, a live not that long ago. So it's back today with the price lowered. And it's that rough. Yeah. Rough on the side. And then they're really nice um, vases. They are. They're a nice collector piece if you mm -hmm. are, have a certain theme, Spanish theme. Yeah. Um, five and a half inches tall. The other one was, I think, uh, was it? Uh, Man with the, having a siesta, and this one is <laughs> yeah, uh, mom and a, her son. Eight dollars, number twenty-two to claim that one. Birds flying. It's nice. They are both. This one has that pro. Oh yeah, from nineteen ninety-three. The varnish is written on the back. Just mention that. These are really cool. These cups. I better not put it in there. It might not come up. Brown glaze. Uh, they are Japan. Really nice. Bowl. They stack so great. They do. And we just have two. 
Very nice. It also is a collector piece. In, yeah. In the, the like the design. It looks really nice. It does. It's quite, quite nice. Good uh, shape. Yes. And they are for the pair. Four dollars number twenty one. Put it on the side. Sure. No chat. This is just feels very yeah. I, don't know. I feel like awkward. we're being rude or something. It does it? <laughs> we're not ignoring you. We promise. Next is a toy truck. Now this is this truck was in in the bedroom in in the master bedroom, and it was in a box wrapped in plastic. I'm not sure. They must have some kind of. Um, memory to for her or one of her, her kids maybe it's a it's a plastic snap together 1965 it's actually dated in the bottom it's called multiple products incorporated 1965 so it is an old toy the box dumps but it is it's just snapped together plastic and then the steering wheel actually does steer the wheels it's cute it's it's pretty big yeah it's not in a not like fisher price no absolutely but it's, not it's uh 12 inches long and at its highest at the steering wheel it is about six and a quarter six and a quarter inches not bad for 50 51 years old yeah right yeah so this little toy truck is eight dollars and it's number 51. 51 and be older than 65 be 35 and 21 56 years old hmm. eight dollars yes i wonder what the m on the bumper stands for uh multiple products oh probably the brand okay next up is a sprayer now this piece is was loose so you can re-solder that piece in, but it does actually, the plunger works. You can actually feel air coming Yeah, I can end. hear it too. Yep. So the plunger, it's, it's a working vintage sprayer, the best sprayers and dusters made. Um, there is a tag on there. I'm not sure what would have been on there. The writing is the uh, color is so awesome it's like it looks more blue on the camera but in in real life it's more like a teal boot root root lowell corporation chicago illinois division of root lowell manufacturing company and then it has some more writing it says us made in usa yes it's really cool it uh it's like a goldish goldish and teal that sprayer would be really nice in a display wouldn't handle oh it's wood yep. cool so this is seven dollars number 50. so would you put the product in the sand i would think so or would you suck it you probably suck it up and spray it oh really i don't know if this is i don't know don't want to yeah i don't want to wreck it seven dollars number 50. And uh, while we've got this uh, thing up here, it's not really a tool, but I will talk about the tools. Um, we've got lots of tools, like antique tools, that we really don't know what to do with or how to get rid of them or what their value. If you're interested in anything, like um, feel free to email and uh, we can see what we can find for you and come up with a price. Two, two orange. orange doilies. These are exactly the same. And they are about 11 inches in diameter. Um, great shape. They are $2 for the pair, number 39. A dollar each. Uh, the orange is brighter than what it's coming on the screen, too. Oh, it is. You know, two. Next up is uh, more doilies. Oh. And these look like egg yolks. Yes. Yes. 
There's a larger set of three. It tool. looks like a owl. A, it does look like an owl. Oh my goodness, it does. <laughs> and uh, then uh, there's two round doilies. I'll just measure these round ones here. These are about eight and a quarter inch diameter. Um, for the set of three. Only this. Wow. Two dollars, number thirty-eight. More than the get you get more for two dollars. Yes. Oh, here I messed up a little bit, sorry about that. BMP flat large yeah i don't know if, if that's what this is blue mountain pottery oh um take my napkin out of there that is perfect if you're reaching in between someone and serving that's like a gravy bolt that you can just go both ways that's <laughs> pretty awesome actually. yes yeah i don't know that it's blue mountain pottery but it sure does look like it um Got a nice handle on it, and it says L. No, where am I? F and L. So for fat and lard. So it is a fat and lard separator. So you would actually put your um, meat skimmings in here, and then you'd wait for them to separate. And um, there is oh, different. Um, like there's a larger opening here for the fat to come out of and a smaller opening for the lard. This has no wall. Right. A wall. That's a good this one. This one has it. a wall here where my thumb is. Yes. I wonder if we could shine here. Let's see if I can do this. Oh, there you go. Yes. You can see the, the wall. So not as much, uh, the bottom is what I should say. The bottom of the skimmings, you know, when it cools and separates, would go through the bottom and the top would pour out the mm -hmm. uh, I did not know the thicker that. stuff. So yeah, this is a, a separator. Um, and the L and the F stand for fat and lard. This uh, separator is um, $8, number 24. We have mixed up, we have three healthful living digests. Yes, I think these are from the 60s as well. Um, they just happen to all be different colors and I thought they made a great set. Um, they are, let's see if we can figure out the years. They're like a subscription. Like this one says volume 28, number two. This one she's written on the back, something Quill Lake. There's a name in Quill Lake. Postage. I keep, I keep many different Sask listed here. It would, I would like for you to see them for different something I have in Boiling compound, two, two years. years. Hmm, I'm not sure. Hmm. You can see the postage on there was two cents to send this thick catalog. But no year. Uh, this one was eight cents, so it, this one would be a newer one. Uh, just really interesting articles to to read about. They're called Healthful Living. So for the three of them, three dollars number six. Next, you have a clear glass vase. What's this one? This one's quite heavy. That's quite. Uh... Um, this one is made in Finland. Mm. Where have we all been today? Finland, 
Poland. Poland. Yes. Glassmakers. Every- Ooh, yes. Glassmakers everywhere and pottery. So I don't know what the I stands for or what company this is. I call it like a waterfall vase. It doesn't look like a waterfall. It does. Me. Or like ice. It's so cool. It's probably recycled glass is what I'm thinking. It's thick. It's uh yeah, it's substantial. It's a nice piece of wood. The flowers wouldn't just fall over on that one. Yeah, and you wouldn't want this to drop on your toe either. So, yeah, I don't know what you would call this or how they did that in the center, but you can tell it's a dimensional. It's really quite a nice vase. $7, number seven. Ah. Pair of embroidered tea towels. Uh, these oh these are they're tea towels they are tea towels I see. Oh, we, at first we thought they were um oh, that's upside right. at first <laughs> we thought they were um pillowcases pillow cases, yes but then we tried to open them up and we realized you cool. can't. Look at the oil lamp. isn't that neat yeah so it is embroidered on there uh the oil lamp and the clock Nicely finished out. It's that great cotton that absorbs so nicely. Hmm. Um, I'll just unfold a couple there. Yeah, so they're quite large. These would be like display pieces. You know, people want to use them. I know, right? They're not stained or anything. They're in perfect condition. Um, for the pair of them, I'm asking $3 and they're number 37. Yeah, to find a house like that again, I don't know. That's going to be tough. Oh, uh, yeah. Next, we're into pillowcases. pillowcases. Uh, which pair? Um, two. Number two. Yes, you got the right one. So these aren't actually a pair, but I'm selling them together. So that's why they're called a pair. This is um, this one's a next one's a little nicer, real fancier. That one's oop. yeah. This one's edged out with a yellow scallop. Mm, the works. needlework on these is just impeccable. I I use the cam. It, it doesn't show it like that's it's a lot more vibrant. I could just get closer to the camera yeah. to show that. It is so amazing the detailing on them, and then this one. Is that it's a real that really nice green color? Um, um, there we go. So, <laughs> so also backwards. I know. So four dollars for this pair, and it is number thirty-six. Really soft cotton. We're quarry critters. Oh, quarry critters. Bears. Look at how sad these guys are. Oh. That one came from that's I found that one. Yes, you store. did. And I said, put him in the cart. Put them in the cart. You've had one of the set before, right? I have a kitty. What kitty? And I'm not parting with a kitty. I thought we'd had one set before, maybe not. No, I don't think so. But yeah, just this cute, cute little statue. And I believe they're called quarry critters because they're made out of some sort of stone. Mm -hmm. So we're asking $8 and it is number five. I love them. Yeah, they're... Their grins are so priceless. Nice display piece. Yeah. Next, we have an old medical book. This is wow, yep. that's pretty cool. Yeah, this is. I flipped through this a little bit and uh, they're here. Yes, this one it's a revised edition. Wow. Um, let's see here. A revised copyright in Canada 1914, revised 1926. So it's from 1926. You see the cover kind of has an imprint. Yeah. 
just hold it and, and like. Oh, something. okay. There we go. Yeah, it's yeah. actually in pretty good condition considering it's, its age. Yeah, you can, there's some pictures of the physicians that wrote the book. And uh, flipping through this was uh, quite uh, eye-opening, to say the least. Uh, yeah, it's it's quite interesting. But it would be a great book just to use for the spine as well. The back has an imprint as well. Yeah. This book is $4, and it is number 29. Black in color with silver writing. Yeah. We've found quite a few medical books. Some pretty interesting. Yes. So I don't know if um, that re was a result of self-medicating, not wanting to pay medical bills, or couldn't pay medical bills. Yeah. Or, or why. an interest. Yeah. So we found other educational books in the attic. Yes, that's true. And there was all kinds of uh, different remedies they had printed up everywhere. Remember mm -hmm. the remedy mixtures and stuff? They kept newspaper prints. Next is a milk glass with bees. Yeah, this is just a little guy. I remember my mother having something. Of this yeah. Mm -hmm. This is six inches tall. She'll say, no, I didn't. I, I, <laughs> that's where I think I've seen it. Um, yeah, just um. It's opaque if you can't, uh, the, the light doesn't shine through this milk glass. $2, number 28 for this one. I have no idea what the pattern is. Oh, back to pillowcases. Are these, they're kind of matching in color, but not. Yeah. They both have a, the same design on the bottom. Okay. Um, one just has a different color. Yeah, different coloring. But yeah, you could totally use this as a pair on a bed. That'd be really pretty. Again, really, really soft cotton and impeccable needlework. Um, Four dollars, number thirty-five. Six needlepoint oh. napkins. Yes, Please. you got them. Okay, so these. I am almost certain are machine done. They do not have much age to them, but they were sewed uh, along the bottom. And where did you borrow these from? These are, I bought these um, at the thrift store the other okay, day. they're not. No, they're not from the house. Oh, how is this working? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, there is the, <laughs> there is the flower Watch. pattern on it. Rebecca, lose her temper. <laughs> <laughs> There's six of them, and these are five dollars, number twenty-seven. I should maybe just give them a quick measure. Ten inch, Ten inch square, and they only have the embroidery on the one corner, and they're white. All right. Gonna get out of the glow or uh, get something else here. <laughs> what? <laughs> Trying to get. There we go. Pair of ceramic dogs. Okay. These. What kind of doggies are these, honey? Those are those Yorkshire terriers. I have no idea. <laughs> did I get that right? Maybe you did. I don't know. Um, a littler one and a smaller one. One's got his head. Yeah, a yeah. look. He had like brain surgery needs, or something. That's why I need someone to buy. We need some love. Yeah. I I just, I can't get this camera. <laughs> um, I'm not sure if I'm showing it right, but they are Mark Japan. They're gift craft. Um, they're just really cute. They do have some issues. Like I said, the this guy's head has Is been that, reattached. That's not it, eh? Mm. No, I don't Not really. think so. Not sure what kind of puppies they are. Yeah. They're cute. For the pair? Yeah, $5 for the pair. Number and 17. they are number 17. I'll just measure the taller one here. Man, the eye work on that puppy. This one is five and a half inches, the taller one. The one that's begging. Can you see that eye work? 
It's paint. pretty, pretty impressive. This one has more detail on it than that one for the eyes, anyway. Okay, five dollars, number seventeen. Six acrylic napkin rings. There you go. Ooh, the flowers on the inside. Yeah, isn't that neat? The flowers actually laid inside. Yeah, it's etched on the inside, and I don't know, it painted somehow because it's white. Unless how did they do that? Oh, it's etched on the bottom. Yeah, it's actually a separate piece poured into there. Like mm. Inside, I don't know how they did that. There's, There's six, of these. six of them. Clear acrylic rose napkin rings. Four dollars, number twenty-six. Next, we have another puppy, a poodle earring. Oh yes, holder. This guy I just found at the thrift store as well. Uh, he is in my thrift haul. That's not uploaded yet. I'm working on it. Um, I, I did a thrift haul with uh, my granddaughter, Eloise. What's with the blue tinge on it? I don't know. What's it picking up? That's odd. It's just a silver metal poodle. No markings on it's it. It's not blue. No, it's not blue. It's silver. $5, number 34. Interesting. Is it picking up that vase? Oh, maybe. Or let's put something back there. I'm not sure. It's been Clear mirroring. heart glass trinket dish. Mm, this one. It's Wedgwood. Oh, yes. Was Wedgwood is desirable piece? Um, it well, looks very nice. It, it's a good brand. Good quality? Uh, yes. Okay. But very odd to find glass. Wedgwood is um, usually that blue pottery with um not pottery a ceramic with the white overlay on it okay um but here it says wedgwood on it that's a nice looking right there you can see the wedgwood yep um so yeah it's a, a heart glass trinket dish it measures um, at its largest, about four and a quarter. And the lid sits very nicely on it, and it is kind of etched out of the top. Six dollars, number 19. No one's commenting today. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> oh, we're going right into another clear glass round trinket dish. Oh, there you go. All right. This is a clamshell mm -hmm. trinket dish. Fits together very well. Locks right in place. Yes, it does. There's no up or down, is there? Uh, there is no up or down. It's uh, written, it's from Italy. Or we're all over the world. But oh, my goodness. Where do you see that? Right there. Mm. This is made in, in the Metro wow. Italy. It's very nice. It is very nice. I'll measure this one too. Sure. Hold it. Two, hand, two hands. Four inches. Four inches. And that one's $4, number 25. Well, this one is your angel, your yellow dress angel. Oh, yes. I was With so the... excited when we found her. She was from a thrift? Yes, when, um, our sourcing trip. Okay. Uh, this is a Joseph's original. And I looked and looked and looked on the internet, and I could not find her specifically. Um, so I don't know if she's got a name or what kind of collection she belongs to. But she is writing in a book with a quill pen. Um. She's got like a yellow dress. She's, she's that bisque. She's not uh, smooth and shiny. Uh, her flowers are amazing. Her wings are amazing. 
She's really, really pretty. And she is $7, number 18. Next is probably one of our most expensive items for tonight. They're not very high priced. That is our most expensive item, yes. It is, but it's really cool. Mm -hmm. um, but this was also a sourcing trip, I think. Bowl with basin enamel. Oh, that's the wrong one I'm thinking of. This is the enamel set, which is also a very cool set. Yes, it is. This was from the house. Mm -hmm. This is not sourcing. Now, I don't know <coughs> if <coughs> these would have been sold together. They're big. But it is a matching set. It's called the Peacock. Yep, Peacock. And this actually says the size right on your 30 centimeter. 30 centimeter diameter, yeah. So th there, that is the basin. And then this is the Peacock Basin Bowl. So if we go back a couple of years as a little boy, for Christmas, these would be called coming bowl in long term. Mm -hmm. And we would set these out for Christmas morning, the bowls. Was this the size or did you have bigger ones? There was bigger ones. Yeah, yeah they were a little, little bigger than that, I'm pretty sure. And uh, Christmas Eve, we'd set them all out. And we'd get up in the morning and they would be full of candy and presents and stuff. So yeah. Lots of memories with my mom and my grandma having an animal as well. Yeah. Um, yeah. So 30 centimeters, that is what, 12 inches? Yes, it is. Yep. Okay. So for this set, it is $12, number 49. Another enamel piece coming right up. Oh, all right. This is an enamel pot. It looks like it's part was supposed to be part of the two pot system. Like yeah, like a this, double boiler or yeah. something. Well, well used. Lots of character in that one. The mm -hmm. handles got used. The bottom has used the lid. It's kind of a wide brim lid, but you can tell that this must be the one because it has its uh Stained mm -hmm. right where it fits the side, so it just had a, quite an over an overbite. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. Yep. Yeah, this one. Lots of character there. This uh, pot with the lid is five dollars, number forty-eight. Next up is two hardware catalogs. Oh, they're right here. Okay. So one is for Allied Hardware and one is for Beaver Lumber Stores. So there was a Beaver Lumber Store in this town where we bought the house, but no longer obviously there. Um, 1969 to 1970. This one is 1966 to 1970, the catalog. That's cool. The pictures. Awesome. These are not color. Um, Photos, but they're red pages, orange, orange, green, lighter orange, brown. This one is color. Oh, it's color. But just so much interesting pool tables. Look at them painting their house. <laughs> and fishing or something like that. Only $4 for the boat. Oh, you just cover the price. <laughs> Four dollars number forty-seven. That uh, lady's got quite the kitchen there. Yes, she does. Look, she's very proud of her kitchen. See, we all went out of these phases. We upgraded our homes and whatnot. Look at her message center. Her rug. Yeah, look at her message center here. See that? Nice telephone on there. No. Look, at, look at the coffee craft. Oh, so cool. Isn't that kind of like our coffee craft? We have our, our now one that we are not selling it because we like it. And indeed, it is oh, like on it is on the burner. 
this is one of our favorites we found and we have not cannot part with it yet yeah pine cone and gold yeah, it's turquoise it really it's on the burner that's scary huh okay so those were four dollars number 47. All right. Flannel sheet set. Well used, but so soft, I guess. Yeah, it right? is very soft. Um, this one is a 64 inches by 86 inches. Yeah, so I'm thinking maybe double or queen, I think. Um, it is $3, number 44. Wisconsin ashtray. Oh yeah, this one. Is yeah, this one is Treasure Craft. Treasure Craft USA. Mm -hmm. Very fancy. Looks like a uh, shell almost, really. Yeah, it does. Um, Pretty fancy to put your ashes into. No kidding. You could put anything in here. It wouldn't have to be used as an ashtray. Actually, I don't even know where the indents are. As an ashtray, we just bought it. Um, in a it might be just a trinket dish it was in the ashtray lot that we bought but mm -hmm. i don't know that it is actually an ashtray four dollars number 46. yeah there's the yellow pitcher with basin dish aha uh -huh. yes so this pottery piece is marked japan really cool piece it is lots of nice color it looks like a lace around the basin has a little chip i see in the bottom oh really oh yeah there's a little chip at the at the bottom there really nice color that one yeah for display or i mean you can use it too so the same grape vine image is on both sides of the picture and the drip glaze is beautiful on the inside as well. Really nice yellowy piece. Ten dollars, number thirteen. It, it it just it really does look like lace around the basin, doesn't it? Cool. We had that house, one of the two houses we really like out there. We could put that on display. Yes. We just have to go on and. Life adventure. <laughs> oh, there might not be great internet service there. Probably not. Tall brown tea and coffee pot. Yeah. Oh, it's another. What do you call it? Um, a pot. This tea pot. Finish. Coffee pot. Oh yeah, drip place. Drip place. Check out the how the lid uh, a handle was applied. Isn't that cool? Kind of like a, like a, remember those little, race they call them dinky cars, racetracks, and the car would have to go around the loop. That's how it looks. Yeah. So this is a very chocolatey brown glaze. Also a nice piece. Mm -hmm. It is very nice. And it is also marked Japan on the bottom. It's in great condition. It is $8. Number 20. Number 20. Um, I'll just grab these cups here and show the difference in color with these cups. Where were they? Oh, you put them on the uh -huh. Yeah. So, um, they would make a nice set, but they are a little bit of a different. There, that, that shows the color better. Yes. This is lighter, but they do look very nice together. This looks black now, but it's. Yeah, right? It is brown. That was eight dollars. Number twenty. Feather pottery balls. Maybe. Oh yeah, this is this. It could be something special. It is etched broken arrow. 
I don't know if that's the name of the piece or if that's the name of the artist. There you go. And the black is just from the and thrift trip. store. Yep. Yeah. But um, it's some sort of indigenous art. The, the pink that is here is... It's not coming up as bright. Or as, no, uh, yeah, it's more vibrant in person. Yeah. Is on the inside of the vase. And it's um, it's similar to the Mexican pottery, um, but it's not as rough. And the glaze for the feathers actually raised. Yes, on this on the white feather, this raised. Eight dollars, number sixteen. Yes. It it's is, a little dirty. Yeah, this is sticker residue here. That That's should come is. off. Okay. Um, I'm not sure about what that is. Just more marks. It looks like they matched the feather. Um, six inches. Beautiful piece. Next up is a wooden box. Is this the wooden box we are yes. speaking of? I don't know. It looks like maybe a homemade box. The hinge has been fixed. It has a decal applied. Decal applied. Looks like some wide piece of, of trim on the sides for decoration. It's hinged. And it could just be a pen box. Eight inches. Um, eight and a quarter. Eight and a quarter by six and a quarter and about three inches high. So that is the box. The hinges, the one has been repaired with a Piece of wire. Piece of wire. Five dollars, number forty-three for the wooden box. Brown leaf ashtray. Now, this is really cool. Mm -hmm. Seen that one? The uh, it's like a copper brown. Yeah. Finish. It just shimmers. Pretty ashtray. It is very pretty. And it is Japan. Yeah. This one. Right there. Very nice shape for an ashtray. And you can stand it upright. It actually has. It's about eight and a quarter inches. Does it really? It's actually made to display. No way. It is. It's got the base. I didn't know that. The base on there. So you can actually put it on display. That's cool. So you don't have to use it for ashes. Hmm. Um, so that is five dollars number forty-two. Very shiny. Mm -hmm. Blue glass vase. Oh, right here. This one's a really nice color blue. I wonder if it'll show up on there. Oh, it does pretty good. It does pretty good. Uh, this one has got a controlled bubble in the base. It's uh, brighter blue on the bottom and then it uh, graduates to the top. Um, so if you're sitting in. <laughs> Nine and a half inches. In water, could you do controlled bubbles? Okay. Really? Sorry. Yeah. I'm just thinking of that commercial. The guys in the hot tub. How's, <laughs> it, how's the diary? <laughs> or on Nemo, the seagulls. Uh, get bloop, they're bloop. And nice. he's like, nice. <laughs> Controlled bubble. Controlled bubble. Very nice blue on that vase. It is nice. And there's no chips or cracks. It's perfect. No signature. I don't know who made it or Just anything nice about it. Vase. Next is a large pottery bell. Yeah. That thing is large. This is another thing I don't know anything about. Looks like Mexican pottery, not. It does, but. The image looks almost um, same thrift store. They marked it in the yeah. 
it almost looks like it's from Jerusalem or Egypt or something like the, the picture. Oh, okay. I don't know anything about this. The uh, piece inside is also ceramic and it has copper hanging mm -hmm. from the bottom. So I guess, I guess, I guess. This would capture the wind probably and could be like a wind chime. Huh. Sitting outside. It's a pretty cool Got piece. It. And it's, um, let's see here, the bell is six inches tall. And hold it the right way. Four, no, it's bigger. Four and a half inches in diameter at the base. Um, I don't know anything about it. I I don't know what to search up, but the it's painting on it is really unique. Nice colors of blue. And it's and got this silver. texture to it. It's like spackled ceiling when you're in your yeah. home. It kind of like a spackled finish. Yeah. Hand hand painted some sort of a village scene on it with like the, the flat roofed houses with ladders and things. It reminds me of I don't know. Nine dollars, number eleven. Yes. From this here. Yeah. I guess you could use a like a wind chime. Just wouldn't be your dong dong. Mm -hmm. It would be more subtle. Duck duck. Green checkered tablecloth. Here we are recording this, laughing to ourselves. Yes. <laughs> uh, this, I forgot to measure this, but it, it's a square tablecloth, and I believe that it is for a card table. It's about it's that not size. Overly large. It's about four. Oh, it is 48 by 48 because we've got. How can I do this? Um, There's a star. Yeah, there the center. you go. It's really nice. No, is, is that a star, or what would that be considered? Uh, Should we refold it? I'm sorry to undo it for you. No, that's and fine. The edge is lace. Yeah, you got to show it. It's quite nice. And it's really, I think it's like new. Yeah, I don't know that it was ever used. There you go. It's pretty. We don't want to sell it now. <laughs> we don't have a card table. Is this from the Watson house? No. This one um, is in my hall with Eloise as well. Okay. Yeah. Um, so for this tablecloth, and it, it's cotton, so just you like, like that, that thin cotton. Theme stuff, hey? Because this is totally would be from the Watson house. Uh, I guess so. I'm a gammy. $8 number 10. I like to see you fold linens too. No, oh, I don't. <laughs> you didn't do a very good job on that one, though. I didn't want you to be bored. Oh, you? okay. You're so considerate. Yep. <laughs> Kitchen pole and plate. Say that three times fast, five times, ten times fast. No, thanks. Kitchen pole and plate. Pole and plate, pole and plate, pole and plate. <laughs> This is Japan as well, yeah. FYI. And it has a, like a, this reminds me of, what's that called, that stuff? Gimp. Gimp. But I don't know. Yep. Has a poem on there. It's in, Bless this house. It's in perfect condition. So I've seen other, this style of uh, ribbon wrapped in it. Is that something that people would put in afterwards, the ribbon in a bow? Yeah, yeah. Five dollars, number fifteen. This is also Lord, we pray, make it safe by night and day. It's a nice one. If it doesn't sell, there could be a nice spot for it right there above the kitchen. Have there. One there. But it's not the same poem. The wall's going to be full. No. We need that big house. You know what? Our our house is very plain. It's not very decorated. Mm. I know you don't it's, like it's, putting... It's more decorated now. 
you don't like putting holes in the walls, no, but it is quite place. plain. Hmm. <laughs> you want to grab that lusterware bowl oh, right here? There we go. Yep. Jason found this. And it's very pretty. It's uh, lusterware. The beautiful rose on the inside. It's marked Japan. Um, it's a great serving dish size, nine inches in diameter, and it's in perfect condition. Really pretty. Six dollars, number fourteen. That's from the hall. Mm -hmm. You did find it. Mm -hmm. Mouse with cheese. Mm -hmm. This is also from our when we went to the thrift store with our granddaughter. Do you think this bowl would have had a pitcher? Well, no, probably not because of the flower, right? Yeah, I don't think so. I think it would have been more shallow. Okay. Um, I think this is a cheese shaker. It's not old by any stretch of the imagination. It's um, set, marked made in Japan. But look how cute. It this has a plug in it. It does have a plug in it. And there's two larger holes on the sides. I think it might Parmesan have been cheese? Parmesan cheese. Hmm. Look at that little mousey just loving on his cheese. I understand, little mousey. $5, number four. You could also hang it. Oh my goodness, you could. You could hang it if you want to, but it does have a plug in there. Yes. Yes, yeah, from the bottom, it doesn't look as cute. Next, bridal couple. Mm -hmm. These are also cute. The two. So this is made in Korea. We are literally all over the world. Wow. Treasure Masters. Eleven ninety five. Hmm. And it looks like there's a C. Is that Canadian? Okay. Moments to remember. Probably. Oh, what year would that be? That's seventies, eighties, maybe. It would be sixties, I guess. Maybe. Yeah, I don't know. Seven dollars, number three, for the cute little couple. Look at them in the back. From the back, they're so cute. Yeah, I guess we we're talking behind their back before. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about them behind their backs. You're such a dad. You and your dad jokes. <laughs> Clear glass bird. Yes. Here you can see this bird is about to release a lot of bubbles. <laughs> and somehow all of your jokes end with flatulence. <laughs> Yeah, I th it, this birdie is not signed. It's just a clear glass. He ran into a wall and kind of stubbed his beak there a little. Okay. But he does have a beak. Yes. Seven dollars, number two. It actually would be a nice paperweight. Yes, I think that is what it's considered a paperweight. It's got a very nice polished bottom. Just like you. <laughs> You're, you don't have a cloudy bottom. No. No, a polished bottom. It actually has little in <laughs> little in TMI. For <laughs> yeah. Oh, goodness gracious. Yeah, there would be comments right there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it has little inserts for the eyes as well. Just see that now, too. And the beak. All right, moving on. We only have a couple things left. Fish, salt, and pepper shakers. Yeah. Jason found these too. And then we yeah. saw that they had a repair. Yep. They're very nice, though. They would be awesome as a Father's Day gift, I think. They're cool. They're um, like a pickerel fish. They Yeah, so here is the repair on the bottom of the fin there. They are marked Prince Albert, Saskatchewan, Prince Albert, Canada. 
Yes, Prince Albert, Canada on the one fish. So that is what they look like. I don't like this camera. You do a better job with it. I do? Yes, you do. And here is the other one. So this one is not marked with Prince Albert. And they sit nice. Mm -hmm. They look really cute, like tucked behind each other. Uh, the stoppers are gone. Uh, but they do have the shakers on top of their heads here. The shaker holes. Uh, these little fishies. Oh, there you go. Five dollars, number one for the two pickerel fish. Yeah, they sit nice. Salt and pepper shakers. Next, we have the wooden gazelle. All right. Very eloquent. With the bejeweled eyes. Ooh, mm -hmm. she could hypnotize you. I see you. <laughs> she sits nice too. I just have this image of this thing. Kind of just. <laughs> oh, too low. Too low? <laughs> Her yes. eyes are glimmering. Yep. It's a nice piece. It is. The, her, the antlers are a Black. different color wood. Yeah, oh, there's nice, nice lines in there. Where are we going now? Made in Hong Kong? It is made in Hong Kong. $5, number 12. It is a nice piece with the uh, jewels in there. The black tip knolls and the... The wood grain is also nice. I'm not sure you can pick that up though. Seven oh, inches. Seven inches? Yeah. I'm trying to get that. Yeah, there you go. I don't know. In my preview video, the picture uh, the picture or the video that I took, her eyes were just like glowing. It was kind of weird. There. That glimmer. It reminds me of, do you remember those drafts and stuff that had the thing in the bottom you could push and they would just fold together they had the elastic yes i do remember those it totally looks like yes. that you could she does not have a button on the base no those were cool yeah i think you can still get those at souvenir shops these it's a nice nice very nice piece actually very light i wonder what kind of wood that'd be yeah uh next is avon oh the po avon potpourri, potpourri, potpourri. pig uh, this is marked 1978, exclusively for Avon, hand decorated. So she's got the stopper, and uh, yeah, she's just a nice potpourri pig. Um, you can put potpourri in it and put it in the closet to send to your clothing or whatever you like. She's just a great display piece, too. Um, she's perfect condition. Five dollars, number nine. Little piggy. Last one? Yep, last one. Uh, salt and pepper shakers. Ah, oh, yes. They have their Japan. They say Japan on the bottom. Um, they have the P on there and the S. So this is wood and this is ceramic, right? This This, I don't think, is wood. I think this is that, um, those turtles that we plastic? sold. They had come, it's like a, like a plastic to me to look like wood. Oh. With glass toppers on them. I don't know. If you look at the bottom, is that wood? You're right. It, it is plastic. Maybe Bakelite or something. Bakelite or Lucite, maybe? Yeah, because wood you would see. I think it is that. Yeah, I, I would agree. Yeah. They're these, really actually kind of neat. Looking. They are. And they're in great condition, too. Mm -hmm. With their with their stoppers marked Japan as well. Four dollars. Number eight. Where are these from? Um, um, from 
that lot we bought from that lady off Facebook marketplace. Oh. The oil and vinegar set is in the garage, but uh, we got the, the one top is missing off of it. Oh, right, right. Yeah. Yeah, $4, Four number dollars. eight. Number eight for that salt and peppers shaker set. And that's it. 50 items, 51. Yep, something like that. So hope you enjoyed or you will enjoy this. Yeah. Um, it's kind of weird doing it this way. We are just trying to set ourselves up, I guess, to, to go away. It's definitely not nice weather. We hope to enjoy the outdoors a little bit. Hopefully the fire ban comes off so we can enjoy a fire. I, I really enjoy it. can sit for, for hours having a campfire, but uh, currently... Bush it, pies. Yeah, and, like, there's about half an hour north of us. There is a fire that's threatening people's homes and they're being they've been evacuated no one has lost their home I understand so hopefully no one does don't want to uh, say that it the smoke will be a damper on our it would be a damper but you know what people are misplaced so mm -hmm. hopefully they can put that fire out i hope for uh, pray for some rain yeah exactly we we right. really need some rain yeah okay. Everybody uh, have a good weekend. Yeah, let us know if you like this uh, form of pre-recorded sale or if you prefer the live sales. We might do this again if we need to for mm -hmm. application purpose or if we're busy. Yep. But um, Canadian dollars? Yes. Not, and yeah. uh, my email or our email is scrolling across the screen if you're new to uh, purchasing with us. And... Um, Oh, I wanted to let you know that uh, I've been invited to sell with Gina and Kat um, Vintage Digs and Calypso Antiques. That will be happening um, on May 26th, kind of a late night sale. It's a 9.30 Eastern Standard Time, but it's 7.30 for me, so it's really not that late at all, even if I would have to work the next morning. So it's kind of nice uh, to have that two-hour time difference. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I'm really excited to be selling with them, and thank you for inviting me to uh, to sell with you that night. Um, and our regular scheduled time slot for our sales is um, in Eastern time. It's 6 o'clock on Saturdays, and we do that once a week. We'll be doing that for a little while until our stock kind of dwindles down from the estate home. Mm -hmm. um, and then it might be every two weeks. But uh, as we mentioned at the beginning of the sale, we do invoice now every two weeks instead of every week to save right. you guys some money. So thank you all so much for shopping with us. And uh, we will uh, talk to you in the next one. Sounds good. Have a good, have a good night, everybody. Bye-bye.